Hi, sophomores. Welcome to week 18 of multimedia design. We are so close to the end of the semester. So let's look at what you're going to be working on this week. So last week, you made that final draft of your design. Now this week, you're going to start implementing some of those things in there. So you're going to be coding your splash page for your website. So again, this should be the page that just says like welcome, it has a background and welcome, they can click on it and get right onto your website. And you're also going to be making the CSS for your website. So what I mean by this is that you're going to be taking that folder that we use during week uh, 13, and you're going to be editing that style.css. So in that space, you are going to be writing all of your own original CSS. So where you want things placed, the size of things, um, any pictures, um, maybe any spacing or padding or margin, all of that is what you're going to be editing. You're going to keep the other HTML pages the same. So they are going to have just Kim's content, like Kim's words. You're just going to be working on changing that look and the sign of it for this week. So you're not changing the content just yet. We'll do that next week. For this week, you're just coding that splash page, making the CSS for that splash page, and then making the CSS for your entire website. And so that you can see it and running, you're just working based on Kim's folder and just changing the CSS of her website so you can see what your CSS is going to look like with some content in it and decide where you want things and if you wanna move things or not. You will also notice on Canvas that there is a slicing activity prompt. You've heard me talk about slicing before. Slicing is just taking um, sections of that design mockup that you made and cutting those out in order to be able to use them. So if you made a banner that you really love for that design, you can cut that section and then code that right into your website, which is really cool. So you can read through the activity prompt. It is extremely detailed and it will walk you through every single step of what you need to do if you want to slice things out of your design. So at this point, there is no new content that I can teach about HTML and CSS. Everything that you need to know about each of the coding languages, I've already taught it to you at this point. If at any point you need extra help with this, remember that you have access to the SDS manuals, you have access to past week's videos, so make sure to use your resources in order to understand things. And again, HTML is just what gives the structure of your website, so it's at bare bones, whereas CSS is talking about the design of your website, so how does it look, how does it feel? Also remember that at this point, you should have already recorded your own interview the interview that you need with the person that, that your website is about. So once you interview them, make sure that you take that file into addition, you edit it. Maybe if they made a mistake, you edit that out or if their pauses are too long, just make sure it sounds good. Um, so you will be editing that, you will be mastering it, and then you will be uploading it into SoundCloud so that it is ready to go and you can embed this into your own interview page. And in that interview page at the top, you will have the transcription of the interview and then the SoundCloud link so I can listen to the interview. Um, we're going to go through the requirements of your website one more time so you're very clear as to like what we're working towards. So you're going to have your splash page. Uh, this is just going to have a background and it's just going to say welcome. Then you're going to have your about me page where you will use the things that you are writing in your academic class and plop them in there. So to talk about you, your hopes, your dreams, anything that you wanna say about yourself. Um, and you can also feel free to use your WIFT in this page if you choose to, you don't have to. And then you will have a leader in my community page and that is where you're gonna be telling us all about this person that's a leader. So any information that you can give us about them, you will be writing paragraphs about that. Then you will have your recorded interview page and that is where at the top you will be transcribing your interview. So you will have the questions and what they answered 
and then you have the link to the SoundCloud um, file where it has an interview. And then your last page will be your looking forward page, which will have three sections, study skills, leadership skills, and tech skills. And in there, you will be telling us things that you are looking forward to learning in each of those categories. And then of course, you will also have the two separate CSS files. One CSS file will be only for your splash page and the other CSS file will be for your entire website. So let's walk through Canvas so you can see what you have for this week. So when you get into Canvas, you are going to find your week 18 module, which is right here. You have the video which you're watching right now. You have the presentation. You have that slicing activity prompt, which you can read through and uh, be able to do it on your own. If you have any questions about it, feel free to email me. And then you have where you're going to be submitting your design, but with Kim's content. So it tells you what you need to do. So you'll have uh, your splash page that you created for your website and then your design, your CSS containing Kim's content. Um, make sure that you use a folder and your file structure is correct um, so that I can run the website. So everything needs to be in that zip folder so that I can use it. And right here you can see uh, what I'm going to be grading on. Um, make sure that your CSS is original to you and you're not just copying things over from Kim. You can get ideas, but I don't wanna see you just copying her code. Uh, once you complete all of the things for it this week, you will be done. If you have any questions at any point, feel free to email me and I'll be happy to help. That is it for this week and I'll see you next week.